Hi, my name is Kyle Franklin, and I'm a solution consultant here with Lucas. Labor is the largest operating cost in most DCs, and travel accounts for half of all labor time, especially in order picking. You may know Lucas as the people behind Jennifer, voice-enabled picking, but now Jennifer is a lot smarter than she was when we first launched, and she acts as the brain of our DCs. In this demo, we're going to show you how you can increase distribution center productivity using our AI-based optimization tools. The Lucas AI tool can be used to optimize the work of people using carts or riding equipment and to orchestrate and optimize robots alongside human workers. We're going to spend most of this demo focusing on the how and the what, but let's first ask the question why. Operations leaders look to our tools to help optimize their DCs. Typically, to start an engagement, we do a no-cost travel simulation to assess the travel savings and ROI for a potential DC. As you may be aware, warehouse labor is becoming more and more scarce and expensive. We also find that automated systems can be too cost prohibitive or inflexible for many operations. Lucas optimization tools help to alleviate these challenges. We've seen as much as 122% productivity improvement in outbound picking. We also see significant reductions in labor hours, both in picking and admin times, as well as increased throughput, all without infrastructure or WMS changes. Now let's look at how we do it. Our AI-based tools consist of three main components, dynamic prioritization, path optimization, and intelligent batching. First, we'll look at prioritization. So before we can get into creating efficient work, we have to respect that warehouses have priorities, be it certain types of orders, service levels, important customers, or carrier cutoff times. And these priorities often shift rapidly throughout the day. Our engine, before being fed orders, considers these priorities on a just-in-time basis. So as new orders fly into the system, they are automatically slotted and prioritized appropriately. Leads have full control over changing priority for their orders too. Because we operate on demand, when a user asks for work, they always get optimally prioritized work, even if a lead rushed out in order just seconds before. Now that we know what orders are available to pick, Let's look at how we can pick each one faster. Consider the following warehouse map and visual pick list. The blue dots are individual picks for a single order, all of which need to be picked by our RF user there next to the start. Now we see their pick path as dictated by a WMS-driven pick sequence, in this instance, Serpentine. The user will traverse each aisle that has picks in it, and in most cases, traveling the entire length of the aisle. In this example, they would have traveled about 934 feet. Let's look at the path that is generated using our pick path optimization engine. It uses a number of traveling salesman mathematical algorithms, crunching travel costs across a digital map of the warehouse. Now we see that we have significantly reduced travel time for our user. Instead of picking those picks at the bottom of our map in aisle sequence, we save a ton of walking by grabbing those at the very end. This results in an estimated savings of 18% for this order. All of this extra travel is eliminated. Now many of us have seen really sharp pickers in action, ones that can find workarounds or shortcuts that shorten this distance. But what about your newer pickers or your temporary force that you just brought in? Our engine helps to democratize these shortcuts in addition to making our fastest pickers even better. Now that we can use math to help us build efficient routes, and now that we know which orders can be picked based on priority, let's look at the third component, intelligent batching. One of the key ways that warehouses can save on travel time is by batching orders. We now see a group of the next available orders in the system overlaid on our map. So we first see the pick path generated by our engine to pick order number one, the highest priority in the system, traveling a distance of 432 feet. Most warehouses batch in a first-in, first-out manner, so the user will be assigned order number two to pick with order number one in their batch. Picking both together results in a total travel of 704 feet, much shorter than if they had picked them separately. However, there is a better way. Lux's AI-based tools look at the pick path of all available orders in the system to help determine what an optimal batch is. Looking at the map, which order matches really well with our current pick path? 
If you noticed, order six in green almost matches our pick path perfectly and will make a great addition to our batch. We see only a small amount of additional travel is needed to complete both orders, resulting in 456 feet of travel to pick both orders. Consider how much greater the benefits could be once we pick batches of 4, 8, or even 20 orders. Also consider that these benefits can be leveraged not only for humans, but also for robots as well. Lucas Tools can help optimize your entire warehouse. So what's the tool look like? Let's take a deeper dive. Here we see our dashboard, and we get an at-a-glance view of how travel is affecting productivity around the warehouse. We also see how the last few assignments have gone down at the bottom. Now consider the priority features I mentioned earlier. They help limit what orders are considered by our batching algorithms in order to meet the priority requirements of the DC. Let's take a look at some of the settings available to operators. For any work queue, users are able to enable automated schedules to tweak their priority settings or override existing settings to meet their immediate needs. Our scheduling tool allows the DC to balance priority and productivity automatically. Priority depth represents how far down the list of orders the engine can look when building batches. In this example, a DC's most pressing cutoffs are right around 4 p.m., so as the warehouse gets closer to 4 p.m., our algorithms are more strict about which work is available to be included in our optimal batches. After the trucks leave at 4 p.m., the site switches back to looking deeper down the list, trying to get ahead on tomorrow's cutoffs. What I love about this is once the schedule is set, the operator can forget it. No more sorting through stacks of paper lists or staring at a delivery due list trying to figure out how to meet cutoffs. Now looking back at our main screen, you may be thinking, how do I know how changing priority is going to affect my productivity? Because these tools are powerful, we wanted to give users a way to interpret and experiment with them. So we included a batch predictor. Here, I can simulate how changing my settings will influence work on the floor. I see that changing my settings from picking only higher priority orders to widening the pool and focusing on density, I will see about a 30% reduction in travel per batch, fewer aisles traversed, and lower estimated pick time. It's a really easy way to bring in simulation and AI right to the operator's fingertips. Now we know that priorities can change in a warehouse, so we don't want these rules to be rigid. Let's look at how the DC can change their own rules. For instance, say that a FedEx pickup for the day changes to the end of the day just behind our LTL pickup. No need to call us up to change your rules or get an engineer on it. Just reshuffle the priority codes right here on the screen and away you go. So that's what the tool looks like. That's just some of the configuration capabilities available in the product. Right now, these tools are deployed to over 20 DCs and we've seen results as great as 122%, with some DCs even cutting labor by half. Wow, we really packed a lot into this short demo. If that piqued your interest, please contact us about doing a no-cost travel simulation for your DC. Email us at jennifer at lucasware.com. Thanks for checking out our demo.